family is asking for the truth tonight after their son was shot and killed in Brownfield. Now, police are continuing to investigate the case, but at this time, still no arrest. KLBK's Elizabeth Pace sat down with the victim's family today. Now, Elizabeth, the family just honestly asking for someone to speak up. They are. That's all they're asking, John. The Brownfield Police Chief John, Tony Cervantes says there are no updates to release at this time. Evan Anderson and another person were both shot in a Brownfield neighborhood early Tuesday morning, and Anderson died at the scene. If you know anything, his family is asking you to please come forward. I'm not the only one hurting. My sister's not the only one hurting. My mom was not the only one hurting. The whole town of Seagraves is hurting. So right now it's just like, we need to come together. Nakia Anderson woke up to a call from her sister at about 1.30 Tuesday morning. She was told their younger brother Evan was shot and killed in Brownfield. I sat there with my mouth open for minutes, just stuck, because I, I, I didn't ex expect to lose him permanently. 19-year-old Jim Mojica was also shot and was released from the hospital Wednesday. We know he's gone and it's too late. But we want to know the story of our brother's death. <laughs> I know I do. And I want to know the truth. I know, I, I want to know what he was doing and why, and I want to know it all, but we don't know. We really don't. Police continue to investigate this deadly shooting. Anderson's family asks for the truth and has a message for the community. Stay on your siblings as much as you can. Keep them out these streets. You young kids out there, this, stay out the streets. Get your head out the streets and get your heads in books and get your heads into a job. You don't want to go to college, you don't go to college, find you a job that you love and stick to it and stay out of these streets because that's not what you want. Now they're holding a vigil for him right now tonight at Seagraves High School and his sister actually started a memorial fund. They're asking for the community's help to support them while they plan his funeral. We put all the details on our website at everythinglubbock.com.